I just wanted to make a video and share my thoughts about Batman Arkham Shadow. <sighs> okay, so by now everyone knows this game is a VR game, which is disappointing to say the least. We Arkham fans have waited for almost a decade of hoping to get another proper mainline Batman game, but we'll take what we can get at this point. But yeah, this game was announced about a month ago, I believe. This game had a story trailer during the Summer Games Fest didn't really have any expectations going into it but i'm not gonna lie actually it looks pretty good it looks better than rocksteady's vr game that came out in 2016 and i don't even know what that game was about to be honest i didn't really bother looking into it because it was a vr game but yeah this game caught me by surprise the game's story might actually be decent uh i read about the dev team behind this game apparently they worked on an iron man game and people say it was pretty good, so it kind of gives me hope about the game not being a flop. I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet, mostly because it's on MetaQuest 3 only. And them shits cost like $300 or something. Crazy. But yeah, I'd be more excited if this game came out on consoles and PC as well, but yeah. It is what it is. To me, this game seems like it's gonna be a mix of uh, Batman Telltale in a BR where it's probably going to combine detective work and combat which I think is pretty dope but yeah anyway we're gonna quickly go through the trailer and take a closer look I'm probably gonna miss a lot of things there's quite a lot that was shown story wise no gameplay though it's all G wasn't expecting much so we got Roger Craig Smith reprising his role back as Batman this guy killed it in Arkham Origins he sounded like a young Kevin Conroy Rest in peace to the GOAT, Kevin Conroy. But hopefully this means we'll get more of him voicing Batman in the future because he, he fits the role. And I'm just glad he's back. Now, this game does take place after the events of Arkham Origins, it seems like. So here we're at Miyagani Island on the Arkham Night map. We got Grand Avenue with the Wayne Tower on the side there. And we got a part of Arkham City in the background before it was turned into a prison. I do like what they did here with the trailer. It took us back to settings us Arkham fans are very familiar with. Later on, we get to see more of these. Makes me wonder if they're gonna throw in new locations in this game or they're just gonna reuse assets from the previous Arkham titles. I don't know. We shall see though. Alright, then we got Beacon Hotel and we can see the bat symbol on the rooftop. They're guessing that's the GCPD building with the bat signal. Then we get a close look at the bat symbol. Okay. Okay. Looking nice. And we get a look at Monarch Theater with the gray ghost poster on the side there. Then we see Monarch Theater getting set on fire, taking the nails always. There's always something happening over there. I'm guessing this is Harley Quinn before she goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Then we get a look at Ratcatcher inside his cell. I think that's... I think that's Ratcatcher. I don't know because they refer to him as the Rat King in the trailer so I'm not really, I'm not sure, I'm not really familiar with this character but he's been mentioned quite a lot in the Arkham games. We'll just have to wait and see how this character is going to be uh, utilized as a villain. Then we get a look of him with his mask on, pretty cool. And we get to see the courthouse from Arkham City and Arkham Origins of course. I like how they did the contrast here with the light and dark theme because Two-Face likes to hang out around here. Then we get a look at my boy Jim Gordon. He be standing on business. Then we get a shot of Ratcatcher's minions trying to kick off the bat signal off the roof. Then we finally get to take a look at the one and only Dark Knight himself, Batman. His armor looks way more refined than his old suit. His old suit was like bulky looking. Here it's looking more sleek, looking a little fresh. Okay, we got that character development. Very nice. Here we get another angle of him looking nice on the streets of Gotham with the rats. Then we get a back shot from Batman. No diddy. Then we get a close look at Batman's cow. Looks like he didn't really change the look much. Damn, this is actually an Arkham Origin sequel, but in VR form, bro. That's crazy. Then we get a confirmation of when this game is coming out, which is fall of this year, around October most likely. Again, this is coming exclusively on the Meta Quest 3, which is a shame. Not many of us Batman Arkham fans own one. 
All right, so we got a couple more screenshots here we can take a look at. We got Ace Chemicals, everyone who's played Arkham City and Origins knows exactly where the spot is. It's just south of the courthouse. Then we get a shot of Harvey Dent with Jim Gordon. Again, I like what they're doing with the light and dark contrast on his face, foreshadowing what's gonna happen to him. Very cool. Then we got this. So this, so this is actually how the combat is gonna look like in VR. Like. It actually looks like it's gonna have a free flow combat mechanic, which I think is pretty dope. I don't think the VR game Rock City made had any of that. It was just a detective work game, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it. I'm actually quite surprised by this game. It might actually be decent. It just sucks that we're not getting a console Batman game, but I think someone's gonna make one eventually. We're just gonna have to wait and see because I heard Rock City will be going back to their roots. Uh, so like I guess they're gonna go back to making single player games after what happened with Suicide Squad killed the Justice League which basically tainted their reputation. Yeah, I don't know what the founders were thinking. Apparently Sefton Hill was a big part of why that game sucked. He decided to dip when Rock City's ship was sinking. I don't know what he was thinking, but what he did was whack as hell. That's crazy. Rock City could potentially make another Batman game, but who knows, it could get passed on to some other developer within WB. But yeah, yeah, that's that's it for me. I think this game is cool. It might actually be decent. Just sucks. Again, that it's exclusive to the MetaQuest 3. I may or may not get one. I'm not sure yet. But I hope this game turns out to be good for the people that own one. And hopefully, this game is setting up a Batman game in the future. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And stay tuned for more content.